Here's a clip from the book, the channeled book, I Am the Way Through Discourse. Hey guys, so I'm just going to do a little reading here from the channeling of the discourse where, again, this is just a rough draft and I'm going to need to go back and through and just like make it more, more sense, but I'm going to talk you through it. Um, so doing little clips here um, from time to time to share what I'm writing and the information that's coming through uh, for this book that will be published at some point in time as a frame of reference to who we are and to how we're being in the world and the experience. So it brings a lot of information in to, to empower you, um, not to bring you down, but it makes sense and brings you know pieces together to help um, bring into a better, more per, open perspective per se than the limited perception from the human consciousness, right? And so it kind of brings things together for us on different levels of different topics. And these are just channelings that I do, um, you know, since I've been writing and doing the intuitive writing and channeling. So if you don't know what I do, uh, this is what I do. All right, so <laughs> I'm just going to read this part here because this was really interesting and kind of brought things together for me and and the more main point of it where and that i wanted to talk about is part of like when we're creating and manifesting because it does talk about that um but i'm just going to read from from a certain point here um and so here it says uh their bite is by that which is of its own accordance and it breaks down the word as its own accordance a slash core, like coordinates, dance, right? So it kind of breaks up the word into certain sections. And so it's saying the dance of life. So um, it's it's um, accordance, right? But we say it as the word accordance. So verbalization and words and meanings have different terms based on where we are on the other side versus where we are here. And so it just helps to bring in the information and awareness to what it's really talking about. But bringing this into words that we can understand on the human concept because we understand it all on the other side, but it's bringing it and translating it into this present time frame reference that um, words get miscued um, and as for reference and what we're mean, trying to communicate on this level because on the level of being beyond here back home, it's all telepathy and we all know the information, right? And so it's to download the information that comes in while we're here navigating this world when we're open to that communication, allowing that information to come in to help guide us along this path. So it's to bring in the channeling of this information that I'm bringing in that um, to help translate and put it into verbalization for you. So it is by that which is its own accordance, which is the dance of life, parentheses, which is the power to create from, for it is that which has been, that has given to you. So it's been given to you to be of your own self, which is your will, right? So it's been given to you, the ability from source to create, right? So to manifest from our place, which is the power to create. Thereby it is that, thereby it is by that which is the will, which is the power of itself, which is the will of source. Because your will is the same as source. There's no difference in will. It's whatever you're choosing that's different. Your will is source will. And source will is your will. It's what you're choosing of it that's a difference. Which isn't different, but it's a difference of it. Which is the creation of being, right? And so, to be that which creates itself. To be that which is in its own power. Manifesting. Thereby it is by that which is source that I am that I am creating from, for it is that which is source, that which creates, right? Because you can't create without source. You are source, right? The body is that which creates, creates now in the moment of time, which is in him to time. Um, so right now is in the moment that we're creating and manifesting. 
Thereby it is that which is all the will that is being of it not separate from it, for you never are. You're never separate from source. Right? Because if you were, you wouldn't exist. Because you are. You're in time, which is a manifesting of it, which is existing in time, that it's not of itself, because source isn't of time. We are. We're, we're a slowed down, condensed version and manipulation of energy into form, which takes place in imagining itself of who we are, where we are, what we're doing, the experience, right? It's kind of a way to say it. And so you're always connected unto itself, which is source to be of it, which is being created now in the moment. So we're creating of ourselves now in the moment, which is by thought and thinking and creating an action and doing, right? So what are you doing now in the moment? For that which is being created creates, whereby that which isn't doesn't create, creates not without it, because you can't create without source, because you are, if it didn't exist, it wouldn't be, if that makes sense. For you can't create without, without it, which is source, which is the powers that be, because if there wasn't any, there wouldn't be any, right? And that's the momentum of being in the creation, the power, thereby it is by that which is the being of source, that we are being in him too, next in line. So next in line means where we are now, next in line to time of the being that's being created of us, with, which is like the version of who we are now, not then, because we're not who we are now then, but we are now of then. So we have been what we are to be of now in the moment, because if that didn't happen, we wouldn't be where we are now. Right? And that's the choices that we've made. <clears throat> Thereby it is by the powers that be, that be when you are being aligned to that you are creating from. So where are you creating from? Thereby it is that which is being one to, that is in him to, it's being one of, that is a one off, or that which isn't which is the power source in relation or related. So again, I've done talks on the relation and the related. So the relation is your relation source, your divine connection, your related is to everything else around you, which is outside of you. So either you're creating from the space of source, which is a moment in time, which is the emptiness of source, right? So that which doesn't exist in form or that which exists in form, which is related from how we're seeing our view from outside of ourselves or where are we manifesting from, where are we creating from, where are we um, existing from, right? So the relator of the relation to which is the realization of itself. So <laughs> where you are is where you're realizing yourself. You're either realizing yourself in direct alignment with source or you're realizing yourself in relation to other people, the experience outside of yourself. And from there, we're creating. So are we creating from divine intelligence, which is source, or from outside of ourselves, like from others? You know, that's where jealousy, suffering comes in. You know, they have it, so I want it. You know, those kinds of things are we creating of our own selves, connecting with the true selves, our higher selves, divine connection with source, the intelligence, and creating what it is that will make us happy, right? So you have both of those. And so the realization of itself is where you're creating from. So um, to that which you are in him with, for it all falls in line when you are of him, not separate from it, for you are never separate. It is all to be that which is one, which is in of itself or not of its own will, which is its goodness. So everything is, is good. I've done a, a video on that. You know, even in our suffering, it's good, right? So regardless of what we're being, because sometimes we have to go through the the hard times to get to the good times to be who we truly are now. You know, if we're wanting to be stronger within ourselves, sometimes we are put through trials and tribulations so we can become stronger, right? And so everything is for the good, even our suffering, right? So nothing is for, for the bad, right? But we make it out to be that, right? As in victims. 
and our perceptions and not really understanding or realizing what's going on here because we're not really taught these things as we're growing up. We don't really understand any of this. They're not teaching us these things, right? And so everything is for the good, meaning it is all for the one. Their body is who you are. That is the bigger picture, which is a part of you in it, that which is the being one to that is or is not of itself true, to be that which is in of itself authentic in him to the one that is playing the role. So you're either true to yourself, which is sorts, which is the only truth, or you're being the authentic self, which is the false self and realization of yourself to who you are in this construct of being the role, the person, the identity, the form, um, the 3D, the version of yourself. Um, thereby it is that which is being one too that is of itself or not, which is of the one that you are being together. For you are always together. You're always together. You're one with source. You're never separate from it. It's your existence of it from it that you're being to yourself, that's the identity, a form, that you're separate from it. It's like this veil, you can't see who you truly are. Because even when we're on our other side and we've passed over, like we have all the knowledge, we're love, right? We fill up with love, the source, because we're in the energy, we're vibration energy and whatever. That's why when we're in certain environments, we take that on because we absorb it, right? That's why we go into a place and we feel um, drained or unhappy or mad or angry when we come out of there, right? We absorb the energy, right? And it's learned to know who we are and stay in our own power and not let the things and environments affect us. So I did a video on the imprints, right? Walking through this imprint. When I was walking through downtown Safety Harbor, this one section, I kept picking up on this stuff when, and I learned about the imprints, right? And so... The form takes on the shape of who we are, but we're still energy, right? And so in form, we take up certain situations and we are adapting to our environments, right? Um, and I use the, the, you know, like the chameleon, right? So we take on the environment. Um, that's why a lot of people, and they tend to be in like, maybe the bad areas and neighborhoods and things like that. And somebody who is born and raised there you know, they are of that environment, that experience, and they're there for that reason, right? We have all these different worlds within worlds upon the world <laughs> that we are. We have our own individual world. Then we have each different areas of the world that exists within it, uh, maybe the neighborhoods that we live in, and then on environmental level, um, and then on a macro level, we have all these different worlds, right? And so the whole United Worlds, the world of the worlds, and then you have like the universe, which is a whole nother world upon itself, and then it just keeps expanding. So we have all these different levels of awareness within itself. Well, even in your body, there are so many different little worlds upon worlds, like the existence of intelligence and basically that's all it is it's just energy and vibration intelligence at that level of awareness right uh, either wakes you up or keeps you um, stuck in this little cocoon that you believe that you are and the existence that you are believing in um, and so from that experience we are able to change and transform and ma manipulate from uh, the experience of what we're having to what we want we choose and we're creating and manifesting from that place right but where are we manifesting and creating from like our divine connection or our environments right so when we're outside of our constructs and we're we've passed over and we've gone home we're in the divine we're, we are ourselves right we just negate the body we don't have the body anymore we become formless and so we are uh, one with source which is love and the divine truth which is consciousness it's a it's an intelligence of vibration and so we know all we are love we don't have any of this mess that we have here per se so we come in to be here which is to bring that here within ourselves to exist upon the world here with that to spread that within the world right and so to make that here not as our home because it's only a temporary but we can bring that here while we're here right which transforms it anyway by there thereby it is who you are that is the bigger part in it which is the one being to 
that is or not of itself true to be that which is in of itself that is in which is in him to one that is playing the role so you're either the one that's playing the role of who you are as your consciousness of the person identity Laura person or source thereby is that which is being one to that is in of itself that is of the one that you are together for you are always together as one but you don't know it for you think you are separate of it which is source thereby you are it that which is being one to that is in of itself being for you have forgotten who you are and being of him to that which one it isn't so <laughs> as you've been here in the, the consciousness of the person you've forgotten who you truly are because we call ourselves by our name not source right and so that is part of the separation to experience what it's like to be not source thereby you are further away from being one to than is or isn't that is of yourself together to be one with which isn't of itself its own occurrence you're only occurring once in a lifetime upon many lifetimes, which is the recurrence of itself to be that which is, that isn't in form. Meaning you occur simultaneously, only you don't know it because you don't recognize it in itself. Thereby you're separate of it, for there is nowhere else to be but of itself, but where, but yourself, which is true, not false, right? To be of source, there's nowhere else to be but connected with yourself, your divine connection within, not outside. Thereby you are it that which is being, that which is now, that is creating from for later, to be of it to that which is, will be, but isn't now. Say it again. Thereby you are it that which is being, that which is now, that is creating from for later in life. So whatever you're being now, you're creating for now, for later. Kind of like a squirrel stashing their nuts away for later right what are the seeds you're planting now in your life in the present moment divinely connected to source or that outside of yourself for later in life you're creating everything you think everything you do everything you feel now creating for later to be of it to that which is will be will be but isn't now it's not existing now because you're creating now in the moment of time, perception, reality, viewing, seeing, feeling, touching, hearing. Thereby later is in reference to the being of him, meaning of now, for all is now in creation, meaning it's an evolution of itself. So you're always creating, even if you don't think you are, you are. Thereby it isn't what is later or before, it is what is now for you are forever creating now in the moment not later or before itself but is in a placeholder to be of it to that which was and will be thereby i am of the timeline to be that which is being created so it's the slowing down the quickening of the creation of being that which you are now to what you're going to be then which is later in evolution of itself thereby don't create by the past or the future but based now in the present moment for that which you do will be against yourself for you will be in him to be that which is an evolution of itself not that which you are living which is in him to be in the past or the present future so if you're this is the main point i wanted to um talk about because what they kind of put to me like if you're creating from a pure space you're creating now divinely connected with source not of the past not of the future your focus isn't uh, when you take away those and you're fully aligned with source and your pure consciousness of creation you're creating of now um, what it is that you're truly wanting without taking in consideration the past or the future right without taking any of that in consideration what are, you, what are you really creating from, right? So you're either creating from there or there, but the point is that this is saying is to create from your divine connection, not of what was or what will be or could be or what has happened, you know, because a lot of us do. We're creating 
from the experience of what we don't have or what we don't want or this and this and this in the present moment or what we're wanting in the future or but you know what potentially will be so it's it's taking away from them which is what this is saying is getting to the point of don't take any of those into consideration in your creation um create from the present moment of where you are now to be of it without those as a part of it right as if they didn't even exist if you were to just exist now there was no past there's no future there's nothing else but now what are you creating and that's the pure creation right so that's the point of what i wanted to put out there because that was what they're bringing in for that topic Thereby it is by him that you be to yourself to be that which is and that which isn't which is present thereby meaning i am of it unto itself to be that which is in of itself thereby you practice your suffering more than your bliss which is of form of him to being separate than one with source than rather with source so we, we create from our suffering which is the place of not having the place of lack the place of conditioning um, who we think we are what we're experiencing or not having our environmental factors you know our belief systems um we're creating from there versus our divine connection with source which is the true power the truth one love one lo the one one truth the one love thereby it is by that which you do that you give rise to that which is within you to your satisfaction uh, for it is that which is given your attention to that is arising within itself the need for right so for it is that which is being that isn't being that you are wanting to be which isn't because you aren't so um their bite is by which is the need that you are being and so what is bringing us satisfaction right so where it's saying when we're manifesting by uh, conditioning our experience things like that is based on satisfaction not our true being or our awareness um, of that and so it's it's manifesting is creating what we want but we're doing that based on the condition set of belief systems and rules and convictions and suffering you know things like that you know the conditioning so you know um everybody wants the same thing if you haven't looked at it, everybody wants the house the car the family the kids the, the husband the wife blah, 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 like the whole family life right that's just the condition of the human being what else is it that you're wanting to create you know the career we want all the different things in life that we have here right and so that's where a lot of people are creating from that perception the third third world 3d version of ourselves um, instead of the divine connection right and so thereby it is by that which is the need that you are being to that which you're wanting to be of it which is important in being that's the influence so it's the influence over you so what's the influence you're under thereby it is by that which you do that you are of which is in him to being one to that which is in line to that which is the generation next generation thereby it is that which direction that you're going so every generation that's coming in is of a, a new intelligence vibration to bring in a different energy and vibration that we all take up when, when they come in and spread their energy around you know spread their wings let's just say um to who they truly are right it's the vibration energy that comes in with them so we have like the crystal children um the millenniums we have the uh, rainbow children you know they all bring on with them their own energy which is a new vibration to the world to create something different and to make change and that's part of the evolution of not just the soul but source but of everything because we're all connected as one right and so we feel the changes going on um, and whenever they come in so the children are the change right they're the new energy the new age Every time a new vibration of energy created beings come in um, of that the new souls some people will call it like uh what do they call them like the waves i think dolores cannon talked about the waves coming in and so did matt Kahn talked about the new waves um the new vibration and waves things like that 
and which there's a story I have with that because <laughs> my soul is part of uh, one of those waves. I don't know exactly which one it was, but it was a realization that like, and I'll share that, uh, but like I had during my whole awakening process, like there was this part, I didn't even know about Matcom, but I had um, woken up one morning and his video happened to go ding off on my phone. I'm like, what is was going off on my phone? So I picked it up and I was still half asleep and I woke up and I looked at the phone and I was thinking it was somebody, but my phone went, went off for some reason. And this video came out, which was Matt Kahn, and he was talking about, you didn't miss it, <laughs> you know, and um, it was a video, and I'll, I'll post that later, but, and then my soul was like, <sighs> it was almost like a relief, like this soul relief, like I didn't miss it, you know, I'm on the right track, I'm at the right time, I'm at the right space, so my soul was part of one of the wakes um, with that, so which kind of goes back to explaining how the whole awakening into everything that I went through. So it kind of makes sense, right? So thereby it is by that which you do that you are of, which is in him to being one with, which is in mind to the next, which is the direction that you're going in. So whatever you're creating from in the present moment is the direction, is the course of time that you're creating from now to then is going to lead you, which is bringing in joy, bliss, or suffering. Thereby it is by that which is in him that you be. Thereby it is by that which is in him that you be to yourself, to be that which is in him to that which you are that you will experience. So whatever you're creating from, you're um, creating your experience in the present moment. Whatever the seed you're, see you're seeding and planting, um, you're going to have, you're going to experience that. And so that can just be from however you're perceiving something, however you're responding to something, however you're thinking of something or feeling something, it's just going to grow because there's a seed that's planting and whatever grows starts momentum every time it comes back around. It's the cycle of the seeds that's planting and you're revisiting it in your mind, in your perception, your reality, and it's creating that to exist in form, right? And so that's the manifesting cycle. Right. So whenever it comes back around, manifest it. So you're either doing that consciously or unconsciously for yourself. So in the present moment, be present with what you're doing. Because you're going to experience it. <laughs> Thereby experience itself and being him to or separate from, which is the suffering of the bliss of him, which is source or in the human terms is the states of being not relative or relative to itself of who you are, as you are yourself, but who, who you are is love, um, is the states of being, not who you are as yourself, but who you are is love, right? And so manifesting from the place of source, which is your divine connection, not based on your reality, your perceptions, um, your belief systems, you know, without that even existing in form, whatever that is for you, um, you're going to have divine connection and lead you on the path for that direction because um, you are love. Thereby, to want more love is to be love, which is the vibration of being, which is source, which is next in line for that which you be, you receive. And this is not talking about like a lover or a mate. It's just, just to be love, right? Um, and so to be love is just showing up in the world as your divine connection, right? Just to be in that space. And people say, be in your heart space. I mean, you are love, right? So, but to be in a heart space, what does that really mean? You know, um, to embody it, to, to be it, to be your divine connection, because source is love. To bring that through yourself in this form, this cocoon, this is like a shell, the body, right? That we take up and form. Um, so we can be in an act in who we are, because when I had passed over, um, when I appeared, I appeared in this blackness, which is the void. And so from the void came the light. And then there were people who were coming with the lights who stood there. And as I looked at myself in the body, the body didn't exist, right? It's just this knowing of who I am as myself. So I am myself here, I am myself there, 
but it changes and evolves here to be of there, if that makes sense. So a lot of people choose to come here to exist as we are, to evolve and change and manifest and create um, the being of our existence. But we shed the body and we're still ourselves there without the body. So with that being said, it's like I knew I existed, but I didn't exist in form, right? Like I knew it was me, right? And so it was me without the body. And that's just form that we take up. It's the creation of the body, a form that we're being in this existence, not that one. So we are non-existence there. So when I showed up in the, in the void, it was like this darkness, right? And we go through that to get to the light. So in this form, we shed this, we go to the into the darkness where we can't see. We can't even see with the eyes. It's so dark in the void that you can't even see with your eyes. Like you're using, you have to forget that you actually have eyes to remember to see and to know and to experience and to be on that side. Because we're so used to, I actually literally forgot that I had to use my intuitive abilities, uh, my telepathy and, and my feeling to be on that side. And they had to remind me to, to drop that, right? Because I was trying to be this there and, and it doesn't work. You have to shed this. Um, and then you have the information and knowing and everything that comes in once you, once you do that. But there's no body there. You're not this person that you are here. Right, which is a delusion. A lot of people teach you, oh, you know, your family is there and blah, blah, blah. No, they no longer are your family there. They're just source or one with themselves, right? And they take on other existence within life. So what their uh, life to you here, like your, your parents or your son, your siblings, your lover here now in this form, um, shed it, go over there, and then they take up another life, which is a different one. They become a different parent or son or child or lover to another person. You're, you're never, ever, forever in this existence of who you are deemed as your identity. This is just temporary. You know, that's an illusion people tell you, you know. So it's the waking up from that that realize, helps you realize your, and understand it. Um, Thereby, to want more love is to be love, which is the vib in, is in the vibration of being with source, which is next in line for that which you are, you will receive. Thereby, it is by that which is the strings that you pull on that you are being hung from, for it is that which lives within you, not outside of you, to be of it, for you are of him, which is the resonance. So you're either the resonance of your being, source, or human, right? Thereby it is that which is the taking of it that is being by name, for I am that which is and that which is not, for I am of him, to be that which is a God or that to myself or that which is source. So anytime you're stepping away from source, you're actually being a God to yourself. You're really not human. We give that term to ourselves, you know, as the lower vibration entity that we believe that we are or that we're told that we are but we're actually a God to ourselves, right? So we have the ability, we have all the ability and skills and power that Source has, right? Um, in our separateness as it was given, right? So we have intuition, psychic abilities, we're able to communicate, align with Source, which is our divine connection and the power, right? If we plug into it, we're able to understand and know it. Um, thereby I call my own name to being in him, to that which is the liberation or the freedom of myself. Thereby it is that which I know myself to be, by or not to be, that which is the question, <laughs> which is, is or is not of itself, for that which is fear. For I fear not of my death, for I live in him to be one with source regardless, right? And so fear not death, <laughs> it's saying. So fear not death by that which you are being from, for I live in him to that which I have taken up by choice, which is to live separate from, from, thereby I live in him to the kingdom or separate of source, for that which I have taken up source to live as a king in my own kingdom. So fear not death, because 
you never really die. Um, and basically, it's just a form that you're shedding. You're, it's, it's your identity, your form, and a lot of people fear losing their identity. That's their fear. It's just their fear of losing, losing their identity, who they are, who they believe they are, because then what does that mean? It means they're nothing. It's just a facade, right? And what would you do without the identity? Who would I be? Who would I show up as? What would I do? Right? Because you've only lived the experience. And that's what they fear giving up. That's the, the death that they fear. It's not a real death, right? It's just the body, if that makes sense. So you're not really, you're, you're with source, you're connected because source is within. You are source, which is a God to yourself. But then when you shed the body, you're with source anyway, right? So either way, you're source. You know, there's, there's nothing else other than source. Sources are with other people. Sources within the tree. Sources within the dirt. Sources within grass. It's within the crystals. Um, it's within yourself, right? In water. There's nothing really that separate. So when you can get over the fear of dying <laughs> to yourself, you'll be liberated. If that makes sense, say it again. When you get over the fear of losing yourself, you'll be liberated. Because you have either the freedom or the liberation, right? So when you die to yourself, which is the human constructs, you're liberated. When you die to source, you're freedom, you're free from source, but you're still connected. There's real, no real freedom. If that makes sense. And my phone's starting to die, so I'm going to wrap it up here. Thereby it is by that which I know my own name, which is in him to being the line. Thereby it is to that which I call myself unto me, to be where it is that I am, that you are in him, which is the states of bliss or the suffering, for that which I am being is either waiting or one with, for that which you are separate of, for I wait for you, but that which I am one with is the being in bliss. So source waits for you to be in line with itself. It never leaves you. It catches you. Thereby you are it that which is on the line of being to that which is the choosing of what comes next, because you are next in line to source. You are source. But from the human concept, you're next in line. Right? Thereby am that which comes next is the choosing of the line, that which is bliss or that of suffering, or that which is, is that which exists. Thereby it is that which is in him to time the timeline. I'm going to end it there because, again, my phone is dying and I'm not going to get cut off here. All right. So, well, thanks for tuning in. Happy journeys. That's another clip from today's channel writing. Any questions, drop them below. Like, share, and subscribe. Happy journeys.